Melissa Long is at the Center for Civil and Human Rights in downtown Atlanta. Melissa, today, as you well know, marks the one-year anniversary of the center's opening. Such mm -hmm. a proud moment. Hardly believe that much time has passed already. One year ago, you were in my exact same location here, getting ready to kick off the opening of this uh, wonderful venue in downtown. We're talking about the Center for Civil and Human Rights, serving really now as a cultural landmark in our downtown, uh, connecting the history of the American Civil Rights Movement to today's global human rights movement, the lessons coming through some really powerful interactive exhibits. Maybe you've had the chance to come town. Maybe it's on your to-do list this year. I want you to meet the interim CEO for the Center for Civil and Human Rights, Deborah Richardson. Good to have you here. Thank, Great, you. thank you. You're pretty new in your post, about three weeks That's now. That's right. Brand new. It's good to have you here. So I know you're still looking at the numbers. You've yet to find out how many people have passed through the doors here, but you can see that it's been a very strong turnout over the last year. It's been an amazing year. We've had hundreds of thousands of school groups who've come through. We've had family reunions. We've had intergenerational families. Conventions, corporations have used the space for their own meetings and convenings. So it's been a very busy and robust year. You had a busy day today. You had a lot of freebies. That's right. We started out free um, admission for an hour, and then we had buy one, get one. We did raffles. We had a birthday cake. It was a fun day. I was reading that in 2014, the first year, the New York Times named the center as one of the biggest reasons to visit. So for people that have yet to visit, what do you think they should do when they're here and make sure that they see? That's a great question. First is there are three unique things about the center. One is the personal papers of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Mm -hmm. Those papers you cannot see anywhere else. Um, then in our American Civil Rights Gallery, we have an amazing interactive experience at the lunch counter. We've gotten a lot of awards. It's a very immersive experience as mm -hmm. if you were actually taking part in the sit-in. And then upstairs in our human rights space, we show real people who are on the ground doing work right now, both in the United States and throughout the world. So very three very distinct but very important experiences. And of course you can come here to reflect and of course look to the mission going forward Absolutely. as well. All right, so much appreciate your time. I know it was a busy day, especially on this one year anniversary of the center. Good to have you. Thank you. Great, thank you. Very and thank much. you for having us, I should say. Thank Absolutely. you for having me. Not good to have you. Uh, DeMarco, Brenda. Yeah, that that's is a fine center. place yeah. and we are so proud of it. Never ceases to amaze how uh, just how much you can learn going through that center no matter how many